Is building really an option for the quote unquote typical Dallasite, you know, DFW resident? Yeah, Todd, I really do think it is an option. There's not many places out there that people go, hey, I want to up and uproot my family and move them to a totally different part of town just because I can buy a bigger house or have a different lot to live on. And so what I've been seeing is a lot of people realizing, talking to an architect like myself and saying, what if we went vertical? What if we went out horizontal? But many people, even on the lots here in DFW, you can't go horizontal. Vertical may be the only option. And so I do believe we've we've opened up a new new part of the market that maybe hasn't been tapped in the past. And historically, we've seen these things come in waves, right? There was a period where Lower Greenville was kind of go, and it still is, but where it kind of broke the seal on, hey, let's rip the top off and go add a second story because I don't have any more lot width. I don't have any more depth. The building line out front is is what it is. And so we saw that hit Lower Greenville. Then we saw it creep into Lake Highlands. Then we saw West Richardson starting to do that with some of the single car garage, kind of more bungalow type, early, early Richardson homes. Now we're seeing that spread into Canyon Creek and Prairie Creek. We've seen that come over uh, into Wiley, Saxe, Murphy, and beyond. Obviously, we're seeing teardowns and rebuilds. We're seeing lots being bought. We're seeing acreage property being bought out in Fort Worth. We've seen a lot of the same things everywhere from in town Fort Worth out to Alito and Weatherford and beyond, certainly Southwest Fort Worth. I could keep going. 